Hello YouTubers, it's Patrick for Life here, and I'm gonna, I have a new idea for a video. It's gonna mention two things. First about, um, second about TNA. But the first thing I want to let out there is, I want a video response to what I'm about to say, and I want comments here. Comment, rate, and subscribe, of course, as usual. Um, my question is, do you think Monday Night Raw will become the longest reigning wrestling weekly show in the history of TV and wrestling in general? Now, I know most people are thinking it's impossible, right? But there was a show called WCW Saturday Night that lasted 28 years. Now, for most kids that don't know WCW Saturday Night, or most wrestling fans that never knew, ever heard the show WCW Saturday Night, probably Gemini or Gold Dizzy, if you ask them, they'll tell you more about it. But here's just a little detail on it. Um... It started in 1972. It had two incarnations before it was called WCW Saturday Night, as we know by the company WCW. It started in 1972. It ended on April 1st, 2000. But other reports say June 24th, 2000, which is a lie. I'm in the hopes of getting the 2000 set, but that's kind of irrelevant. What I want to iterate here is that uh, the two incarnations. Sorry about that. In 1972, it started by the name Georgia Championship Wrestling. By 1983, they got the name NWA Championship Wrestling. Ironically, it was still on the same time WWF was still putting their shows on TBS, Turner Broadcasting Systems. And then in 1992, they changed it to WCW Saturday Night. But I liked it when they had the show with the logo, the Superstation, on it. To me, TBS will always be known as the Superstation. So comment, rate, and subscribe on that. What do you think? Next thing I want to focus on in this video is Mick Foley um, being really fired and Kurt Angle's um, hopes of going to the WWE. First on Mick Foley. Mick Foley is not fired in no way possible. Also... He cannot do the Cactus Jack persona because it's copyrighted by the WWE. And if he tries to show the um, Cactus Jack persona on TNA television, the WWE will see it and they'll sue Cactus Jack and TNA individually. Mick Foley. The only reason why he can use Mick Foley is because Mick Foley is his real name. Now, for Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle is not going to um, Vince McMahon. That's just the storyline. He'd rather stay three years in TNA than spend a year in WWE. WWE has a 300-day physical regimen, which is grueling and heartbroken to a lot of wrestlers. The money, of course, for Kurt Angle is good, but he doesn't have a lot of things like his family and stuff. You know, the things that mean so much. With him living in Orlando, a better setting, instead of working for WWE 300 days a year, go to city and city, city to city, never expecting what the weather could be. One night you could go to cold weather. Next night you could go to sunny weather. You never know what to really um expect. Also, another thing, if you guys folks haven't realized, whenever Crankle does his special, um, Mike Tanay can only say the Olympic Slam because WWE has the copyright to the Angle Slam as a special. Like, why do you think when Mick Foley does that sock move, they don't call it the Manable Claw? forgot what they call it, but they don't call it the Manable Claw because WWE has the copyrights to it. So in my view, at the my opinion at the end of this video, Kurt Angle, not going to WWE, don't even think about him going. Mick Foley being fired? Oh, hell no. They have something really good in store for Mick Foley. And one last thing, I may be making a review on Raw. I'm probably going to make a review on ECW and Impact because I'll stay away because Raw looks... It seems to be more god awful. TNA was kind of really awful, but it wasn't as bad as Raw. But a really god awful week for wrestling. Just a disgrace. I just really hated this week. So that's pretty much my opinion on things. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to make the video response on the first question that I asked. 